My name is Chase Penny, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. I love it, but we all gotta recharge the battery every now and again. I'm Luke Rogers, and I grew up in Chico, California. I want a job that doesn't feel like a job every morning. It felt like it's something I wanted to get up and get out of bed and do. My name is Stephen Helmkamp. I am a pharmaceutical rep. This career, it's not for me. There's gotta be something better out there for me. Our first day in Maui, we meet up with Dave Kalama, renowned waterman. Hi there, how are you? Morning guys. Hi, Steven. Steven, nice to meet you, I'm Dave. This guy has story after story, medal after medal. Dave is legendary, and he is like the best stand-up paddler in the world, not to mention he is a phenomenal big wave surfer. What we want to do today is do a beach workout, kind of some real simple stuff, but it's kind of what I do to prepare for my, you know, big wave season and stand up paddling and all those types of things. Dave is going to take us on one of his workouts. And I work out regularly. You know, it's a very important aspect in my life. And so I was really, really happy to have the opportunity to go and, and work out with Dave on the beach. The whole point of training is to do something outdoors. So I might as well train outdoors. Getting outside and, and using all the elements of nature to, to get your workout in was a complete treat for me. Running in the soft sand, get your toes really strong and, and your calves and your ankles. And for me, that's like, that, that's board control. He started us off by just taking a light jog down the beach, kind of get the blood flowing, get the legs moving. Nice, easy jog. Take it easy, Luke. <laughs> Thanks, Chase. We're running on the beach, we're concentrating on squeezing our toes in the sand, which is very important, you know, when you're standing up on a board. We would pop off onto just some random tree branch, do a bunch of pull-ups. His chin-up bar is a tree. Get back to jogging. Sit-ups and push-ups and dips. Three, four, five. Leg lunges. Bear crawls on the beach. <laughs> a little bit more jogging. Getting pretty tired towards the end of it. All these things that Dave found very relevant and applicable to what he did in the water. It was kind of cool, you know, every movement that we were doing on land is a movement that we would be using out in the water. So that's what Dave was trying to, uh, you know, translate to us. One of the last activities that we did was running up this, this sand dune. And uh, Dave's like, if you really want it to burn, then you can do it backwards. And so Luke and Steven, they, uh, they, they ran forwards, and I'm like, yeah, I'll do it with you, Dave. Oh, man, I haven't felt a burn like that in my legs in quite some time. I thought, man, I can hang with this guy. I work out all the time, but it was a tough workout. Now you know why I like working out here instead of in the gym. Yeah. It's just awesome. Just the trees, the beach, the water. You guys did great. That was an awesome workout. Dave Kalama was one of my favorite people by far on this trip. He is, is one of a kind. He's very personable. He's very humble. And for a guy that really has accomplished as much as he has and is as big a deal as he really is, like he would never know it by meeting Dave. And those are my favorite type of people. You know, I couldn't have had a better time, you know, meeting and hanging out with Dave Kalama. When you turn them on, the things just roar. These things are bad mamba jambas. Luke did really well. Luke did great. I think he uh, did the best out of all three of us. He, he took off. <laughs> He got that rock and just started running, so I think Luke found his...